Hey everybody, it's Sally. I'm in the kitchen. I don't know if you can hear the pressure cooker. I just turned it off, but it's hissing away. I'm getting ready to make dinner for Steve. Um, I, this is a special video that I'm making. I'm not sure where I'm looking there. I'm looking there. There's the little thing where my eyes are supposed to go. Anyway, on the cell phone, um, I, I, I saw a thread. A thread was pointed out to me. A, a dear friend had questioned something on the Back to Basics page about um, being satisfied was she allowed to be satisfied um, at a size 8, 10 when everyone around her seems to be a size 4, 6? She didn't even mention the 6 part. Funny how we jump right over that 6 to a 4 or a, or a whatever. Um, and, and this is someone who I think very highly of, a young woman who's got a lot of integrity, a woman who's worked really hard to get where she's gotten. And, and she... Just I feel like she needs to hear some more words of encouragement. She got a lot of encouragement on the Back to Basics page. But for Chantry Ray, this is for you, girlfriend. Now you know, I remember when it wasn't a year ago, you were stuck and struggling and becoming despondent about everything. And now look at you now. You're going to see a plastic surgeon. I mean, about excess skin tomorrow. And I think you should feel very proud of your accomplishments and where you've gotten and how you have overcome to get there. Um, in a lot of different areas of your life, not just losing the weight, but a lot of areas of your life. I know you've had a lot of loss in the last year, and um, you didn't let it get the best of you. You didn't let it take you down, and uh, you kept on, and you have succeeded. So let me talk to you about what my perspective is about people and their size and their weight and their, their issues. Um, there was some comment made <laughs> about being a size 4 and people that don't have any body fat and blah, 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 blah. Now, that was fine. That person had their perspective, but then there was someone that got really angry about that. Let me just say, for the record, I have been a size 4. I still have some size 4 clothing. I would say that I am 3 pounds up and probably in my normative body range now, um, going into my third year uh, of having had the surgery in November. I, when I hit goal the first year, 135, 130, 135 was pretty much it. And I was very excited and I decided that was goal and I should be happy and I was good and I just kept living my life. I tried not to put too much pressure on myself. And then six months later, I basically got down to a range of 131 to 133 and I lived in that range for a year. And without any struggle. Um, and then year three has come across with the whole move and everything and moving, being in another country and changing my exercise routine. And I am much more in the 135, 134 to 136 category. Uh, am I doing all I can do to be fit and healthy? Not as much as I did before. Am I eating as well? Mm. And I was like a 97% good, 3% bad ratio. Now I'm probably 90-10. Um, and not even bad, just more carbs than I need for the amount of exercise I do. But having said all that, am I healthy? Oh, yes. Am I very, very happy here? Oh, yes. Am I happy to be able to bake bread from scratch and squeeze all that dough and knead that thing and bake that and make it smell good in my house and eat some of it? Yes. Am I eating a loaf of it? Not if I can help. Um, am I walking? For, am I exercising? Yes, I am. Am I going to the gym? No, I'm not. I am walking with a local group called the Ramblers, and it gives me such a happy place to be in. I walk not just for physical exercise. I don't walk in a way to, like, sweat bullets, um, which I would have done before. Well, with the dog, I couldn't, but anyway, you know, I, I'm not a runner, um, uh, but I love walking outdoors and nature, and that is not one where I'm sweating bullets, but it is long, and um, there's different terrain involved, and it's just pure pleasure every time I do it, and it's exercise for my whole body, my whole mind, and my whole spirit all in one, and that makes me feel glad to be alive. Um, so I, I consider myself to still be fit, and the longer I walk, the more fit I will become. I'm also riding a bicycle for fun, so I only do it 15 minutes, but I'm having a good time while I'm doing it. Uh, and I have some other things I can do in the house. The point is, 
and I may not live the rest of my life as a size four. It's pretty much can guarantee you I'm going to end up being a size six, eight, or six. Right now, I think the next horizon will be just a solid six, which is absolutely fine. But that's where my body went. I didn't compare myself to other people. I didn't look to other people. I was shocked, actually, that I got as low as I did. Shocked. But I'm not unhappy about it. I enjoyed it while it was there. I'm enjoying it where I am now. And I will learn to adapt and enjoy it if I end up being a size 8. It's not a bad thing. I want to be healthy. And I want to be able to move my body and not be afraid to try everything I want to do in this life. And... I have no fear of total regain, I, but I'm open to the fact that my body is going to settle as it ages, and, and different things will be different challenges as I move along. So, what I want to say to you, my friend, is I love what Tony, my friend Tony, Mrs. Skinny Bridges, wrote to you on Back to Basics. She said, uh, comparison is the thief of joy, and that is so, so, so true, Chantry. It, it's great to be in groups when you're doing competitions and we're all trying to do well and do the best we can, but it's still an individual competition. And it's a competition within ourselves, and that competition is more about ingraining good habits than it is about winning. I think that's why I didn't join a lot of stuff online for exercise stuff, because I needed to do my own thing the best I knew how without feeling like I was going to compare myself to somebody else's success or failure. Because I have a tendency to compare in my history. I don't do it so much anymore. I feel like I finally grew out of it. But it is a weak spot. And to not feel like a failure, I made sure I didn't do things where I felt like I was in competition to compare myself to someone else's um, success. Whether that was reaching to be a size 0 or a 2 or a 3 or a 4 or a 5 or a 6 or a 7 or an 8 or whether it was competition within myself compared to other people that I was a failure compared to X because I didn't reach a certain number on the scale. Um, and I don't want people to say, well, it's easy for you to say you're 136, but you know what? I used to be 250 pounds, and I used to weigh 268 before my whole, you know, at, at my highest. And so, yes, you know what? Does that make me a failure because I didn't start out at 400 pounds? No, it is what it is. We are who we are where we start. We are who we are when we finish. What my destiny of my body, I just wanted to get out of the way and cooperate with my body to let it find its own resting point. Did I drive my body into the ground to get to be a size four? Oh no, I did not. I did the best I could do. I focused, I wanted to be, feel like I had I succeeded. And for me, I didn't know what that meant, but I knew when my body stopped, it was done. And so my personal opinion on sizing and goals and getting to be something that your body's not intended to be, or quitting before your body gets to where it's intended to be, it's just my opinion. And, and that's worth not much, just, just like everybody else's. Um, I care about you. I want people to feel good and successful in their endeavors and this journey. It's important to realize that we're all different. The only competitive sport I ever participated in was swimming as a child. And I was still a little fat girl on that block. Having to jump off and stand up on that block with everybody looking at you is not a comfortable place for someone who's self-conscious. But anyway, I digress. With swimming, you are competing against your own best time. It's not about the people next to you. It's about your time. So to me, that's a safer place to be, trying to better your own self and not look to the people in the lanes on either side of you. Okay, Chantry, you are going to rock your life. I was just talking to Janie, and we were discussing how we feel like we're not in the WLS game anymore, the, the phase of the, the uber focus the, the, that where it really absorbs all your thought processes and all your energies. I mean, we all go through that in the very beginning. It's important to be that way to get to the goal. It's important to do that after you reach maintenance um, to make sure you've gotten your, your skill set honed in tight and changed the way you live um, and changed the way you eat. So I feel like I did that. 
Um, I gave myself a little wiggle room, a little bounce back room, not with the intention of bouncing back, but just, you know, I didn't think it was certainly going to get any thinner. So what I want to say to you is just keep on keeping on. I still think about what I put in my mouth. I still make sure that I'm getting physical activity and there will be seasons where it'll be stronger in some areas than another area. That's life. But I'm living life. I didn't throw my WLS journey out the back window with, or the baby with the bath water. I still live the new changed life that I live every single day. There is no going back for me. But I'm not afraid of the future. I'm excited about the future. And life is so much more, so much more than I ever thought it could be. Um, and that has nothing to do with the number on the scale or the size of the label in the pair of pants I put on. And you just find that your body is your gene pool, and I, as is mine, as is everybody's. And we cannot force our bodies to be something that we're intended to be. Whether you're intended to be smaller than a size 8, 10, I have no idea. I'm not you. But I think I'd feel not bad about it, not bad about it at all. Rejoice where you are. Um, I mean, who would have ever thought any of us would be where we are today? I'm very, very grateful and very, very happy to feel deeply alive and appreciate everything as, as a great gift every day. We keep our mindset there. We don't fixate on the small stuff. Just be healthy, live healthy, think healthy, um, and your life will continue to be as sweet as you want it to be. I love you, Shantri, and, uh, and that's for all my friends out there who are struggling um, uh, with a lot of issues. I mean, between just learning to be happy at the size you end up, the size you get to, the goal you set, um, maintaining, there will always be a new challenge, but... We have other stumbling blocks like low self-esteem and wondering um, what other people are thinking or um, even the, uh, the way we feel like we're a failure when we compare ourselves to others. So, no more comparing. You are wonderful. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, Shantry Ray. I love you.